everyone welcome back today i wanted to answer a question i was asked recently as far as why i have multiple planners to be honest it's not something that's an ideal situation for me i kind of like to have everything in one place but on the other hand i want to make sure i have enough room to write down the information i need to keep track of without having to carry around something that's like this giant and i don't have rings big enough to do that so i have multiple planners that's a short answer so the planners i do have i have my everyday carry which basically contains my monthly monthly inserts, my daily inserts. The monthly inserts go through the end of the year, and then I have a few different sections of things that I want to be reminded of often. So my goals and some of my goal breakdowns, my review checklists, because sometimes I like to know what's going on with those. I have a project slash to-do section for things I need to do, do personally and at home. I have a list section, so that keeps things that I reference fairly often or add to fairly often. So books I wanna read, things I wanna watch, the workout that I'm working on currently. So usually I have like a little calendar that has when everything is scheduled. It includes my travel inserts. I have pet inserts too. So that's generally what I carry on a daily basis with me. Now I have have been asked why I don't keep my work information in my everyday carry. A little bit of background, I have owned my own company with my mom and sister for I think we're 12 years now, 11 years, so it's been quite a while and I spent probably the first 10 years of that time working 12 hour days. As you can imagine that's not sustainable for a long period of time and a lot of that time I spent just pushing through so it wasn't something I wanted to do, it wasn't something I had energy to do, it was something I had to do for one reason or another. So I've reached a point and I had different milestones. So there was a point in time where I decided I'm not checking work email after hours. And that was about the time that I checked it one night right before I went to bed and I had an email from an owner that made me very angry. And I was up till two o'clock in the morning fuming about it because there wasn't anything I could do about it at that time. So that was like my first realization that I needed to have some separation for my own sanity. And then over the years, I just realized that, you know, I have to have time to myself and I don't always want to be thinking about work because really and truly when my mom, sister and I get together, that is what we talk about. We're in property management. We do rotate on call. So periodically I do have to think about it after hours, but I try not to when I don't have to. At this point, we're also at, I think 40 some odd employees too. And so I don't want to think about work unless I have to. I keep my work items separate and I try and leave that at the office. The only time I do bring it home generally is when I'm filming a video for you guys, showing you what I'm doing, how I've changed things. But most of the time it lives at the office because I'm not working on work stuff at home, so I don't need it. I don't need to carry that with me. It can just stay in one place. The other thing I have is my editorial calendar. And I did actually, if you look back like a long time ago, I did originally have that in my everyday carry. That isn't something I need to refer to every day. I film maybe twice a week and I edit in between there. I really only need that when I'm filming and I really only film at home home so that's something that can just stay at home but I wanted something that was a calendar but it also had room for me to write notes and make notes about what it is that I wanted to include in those videos I wanted that kind of all to be in one place so I have that in its own planner as well I do also have one that I'm creating for home that's just cleaning checklists I'll probably put my budget information in there. Just some random things like that. Again, things I want to track, but things I don't want to carry with me every day. It doesn't make any sense for me to do that. And I do have a few other, they're planners, but they're not really what I they're not I'm not planning in them. I have one where I periodically track health and fitness information when I notice that I really need to buckle down and really focus on what I'm eating and what I'm exercising. So I use that where I will write things in there. I also have a happy planner that I use for my quiet time. That's a place where I'm journaling and writing down information as far as verses I'm reading, things that stood out to me, information that I pulled from the study Bible that I'm using or from the study that I'm doing. That's not really a planner. It's just more of a dated space for me to write things down. And to be honest, I'm actually probably going to change that into a bullet journal when I'm done with the planner. I hate to waste it. It was a happy planner and I think I still have through the end of the year in it. So for now it works for what I need and eventually when I run out of the pages then I will change to something else. So that's pretty much what I have and why I have different planners. Most of the time it's context based like where do I need to access it? How often do I need to access it? Does it need to come with me or not? So I keep the information separated out based on what it is. The three main planners are my work bullet journal, my everyday carry, and the editorial calendar that I use. It's actually an Erin Condren deluxe monthly notebook. So it's basically just 
monthly spreads with note pages in between and that works for me for what I'm using it for right now. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully it answers your question. Um, I know I had several people ask why don't you combine work and home? Why don't you why did you move your editorial calendar out of your everyday carry? So that's a little bit about why things are split up like that. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.